Hey, hey, everyone, it is Tony Blake right here in the Up Ward. Thank you so much for joining me today. I sure appreciate it. So I'm having this conversation with my sister today, and she was saying she just loves the visualization of the balloons just raising people up. And she said, you know, you're just one balloon, but when others come together, I mean, we truly can lift the industry up, lift our teams up. This is something that we are empowered to do, to choose to be upbeat. Now, last week, I talked to you about words and being upward, creating that upward momentum was all about your words. And so I wanted to kind of review our assignments real quick. Um, one of the things I asked you to do was to um, multiply apply your up by sending out some up words to somebody else by choosing a person that you would call or text or email and guess what I got an email from an angel I'm not kidding like you can't make this stuff up thank you angel in El Paso for sending me this message right before I'm recording I just thought it was so cool to be able to tell everybody I got a message from an angel so here's the thing when it comes to feeling up and energy it's absolutely absolutely connected to your emotions. This is all about emotions where last week we taught on words. This week, I want to bring your attention to your emotions. And I found some great science that emotions have executive power in the brain, baby. Your emotional choice releases emotional energy that's vital to your happiness. And so this is really about creating those feelings of love, you know, making things happen that change our emotions. And important for us to know that both up and down have momentum and that when up is triggered in our life, hello, right here happening, are you feeling some up happening? Then we can create momentum in our life. And then it's important that once that momentum gets going, that we keep that upward motion, that upward energy. Um, I think that when we are doing that, we need to find ways, things that we can do in our life, actions we can take that will help us to trigger that power of upbeat in our life and have that change. So I made you a little list. And I wanted to bring back to front of mind that Time Magazine last year published an uh, incredible edition on the power of positive thinking. And in that was an article that said that we have the power of time travel. What? Yes, we do. You can recall a memory. And when you go back to a happy memory in your life, you get all of the dopamine and all of the endorphins and all of the great body chemistry that came with that moment. So I spent a minute and I just like let my mind wander. And do you know what memory I remembered? the birth of my first grandson. There was this moment when we had to leave when things were getting close and Doug and I were in the waiting room and the room was just right across the hall from the waiting room. And all of a sudden my son-in-law, Chris says, Leo. And we knew that he was born and it was just so incredible. And I relive that moment. We can, if we're not having like a happy moment right now, <laughs> you can tap in to another time in your life to help that energy trigger back to positive. If you're feeling like a failure, which frankly, this is like the fifth time I've recorded this episode and we're not going to go there, but just stuff happens, right? And so when you're feeling that failure, what you can do, go to something that you did really well and celebrate and find the good. You know what else is pretty incredible for creating upward energy is chocolate. It's an antioxidant. You're welcome. Have a little chocolate. A lot of people do coffee. How about a mocha latte? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Like laughter is a great way to watch a funny video in your ebook this week. I have a great blog that is um, Olaf's 15 greatest quotes. Uh -huh. I love Olaf. Some people are worth melting for is one of them. And um, you can literally go and watch these funny videos. I mean, like we can, even when everything is going on around us, we can take action to change our energy to bring positive energy into it, to create a balance for all the negative that's been going on. So I got a question for you. How are you feeling right now? 
little bit more upbeat because it's the truth. We do have the opportunity to make things happen. So I'm going to take my balloon and give it to you. And then I'm going to ask you to take a balloon and give it to somebody else. This is not just about us doing it for ourselves. This is about making shift happen, y'all. You know, that's so funny if you've been drinking. But, um, you know, I teach the butterfly effect. If you've been following me, and I love my butterflies. I got my butterfly scarf on today. Um, and so here's the deal. Today, I want you to make a difference in someone else's life. You know, the truth is that even if you don't try, if you get upbeat energy, it's just going to radiate off of you and it's going to affect the people in your office, in your life, in your home, in your environment. Um, we rise when we lift others up. And so today I want to inspire you to make that decision to move up and then add it to somebody else's life. So here's one of your assignments this week. I want you to write a daily prescription for positive energy. <laughs> Isn't that a good one? And in your ebook, I'm going to give you mine and then I'm going to give you a blank one. So you can just print that down and cut it out. I want you to put it somewhere you can see it every day. This is my prescription for me. So here's mine to be present and mindful as loud and as crazy social as I am, I believe so much in meditation and spending time just being mindful about my day and being present. Um, I almost never record this without having prayer time and, and, and really asking for this to be um, truthful and honest. Um, I love to count my blessings. The first one I think of right now is my husband, Doug. I'm so grateful for him. There's so many things that living in a grateful heart is just so powerful. I also really believe in breathing deep. I'm hyperactive. You probably didn't notice, but I am. And so breathing deep oxygenates your blood. And so whatever's going on, whether it's stress or anxiety or whatever, breathing deep is so great. I like to dance and I like to sing out loud. I did some of that before I recorded. I also love to be kind. Some of you may have joined me for my kindness challenges. And I think there's nothing more powerful than sharing a smile. You know, I love name tags because I can greet people by their name. And it's just so fun to like go to somebody in a store somewhere and say, Bob, how you doing? And they're like, uh, fine. You're like, I mean, your name tag. And then they just laugh or they're annoyed. Um, and then they laugh. But um, I really, really love to be able to share a smile with people. And I think it's such a powerful way to start that transition into positive energy with your face, right? If it is to be, it's up to me. One of the most important things I want you to get from this series is the fact that there are things we control. There are things we cannot control, and then there's things we can. And if you'll just tend to spend some time focusing on the things you can control, you are going to find things moving upward. Now, I want you to think about your resident relations, and I want you to realize that it's like layers. It's like an ogre. An ogre is like an onion. It has layers. You have layers with your residents. You've got stressful moments, and then grateful moments, and then happy moments, and another stressful moment. We have all these different moments, but I, what I want you to do is think about how can I create an upbeat moment with my residents? What can I do to literally stage something that is going to generate Generate those positive feelings with my residents. Well, I have an idea for you. Flowers. Did anybody notice my flowers? Were you thinking, Tony has flowers? Do you know that we've tested this? If you put flowers in an office on one person's desk, people, when they come in, their eyes will go to the flowers and they will smile at the person sitting at the desk with the flowers. <laughs> like, somebody loves you, it must be your anniversary, it must be your birthday, but they will offer a smile to the person with the flowers. So here's my idea for you. Keep fresh flowers in your office. They have a positive effect on our own well-being and good Lord knows that we need positive well-beings right now. These are from my daughter, Stephanie. She got me a subscription to this thing called enjoyflowers.com. And I am so enjoying these flowers. Uh, here's a tip also. Did you know that some dollar stores have fresh flowers? Uh-huh, they do. I heard that from a manager with uh, GWR in Houston. She's using flowers for Valentine's Day. How cool would it be 
if you got a big bouquet of flowers for Monday and everybody that came in, you had to want those individual water things. And if people noticed them, you said, would you like to take one and let people walk out with a flower? Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. And I had another really cray cray idea. Are you ready for this one? I hope you're sitting down. I just think this would be fun. What if on Valentine's Day, we put a boutonniere on maintenance and we just saw would people be nicer? Would they notice that maintenance had a boot near a little flower? On you, you know, it's just a thought. It's just fun to think about. But flowers are awesome and affordable and a great way to make yourself and others feel better. You know, this is just about sharing ideas and thoughts, knowing that in lesson one, we did upward momentum, that it's our words that really matter. And we do control our words. And here today, we're talking about our feelings and our emotions and how they create positive energy in our life. Next week, I'm doing upside perspective, sunny side up y'all. And then we're gonna end February with a lesson on our character choices and upright and how important that is. I got an ebook for you. Make sure you're on our email list so that you're getting the emails each week. And thank you so much for joining me, Tony Blake, right here in the Up Ward. Yay!